Here's the Adafruit data logger that's inside the accelerometer. Um, it consists of a uh, Ada logger, which is a um, low-cost microcontroller-based system for um, data logging. It has a micro SD slot, micro SD card that you can pop in here. Nice, that's where the data is stored. Um, it has a LiPo battery, uh, including, I mean, you buy the LiPo battery extra, but it's got a LiPo battery charging circuit such that you can uh, just plug the LiPo battery into it, and um, it will power the system when it's running, and it charges from uh, a USB cable. So you've got a small micro USB you plug it in, and if you don't have the LiPo plugged in, then you can run it off the USB, and obviously, or maybe not so obviously, you connect this uh, to your computer to do programming and download uh, new code and upload data if you want. But uh, autonomously, it runs with this um, LiPo battery. So I'm just going to leave this out because it's somewhat hard to get into. Um, the micro SD card uh, fits into this regular SD card. This is not an SD card, but it's a um, it's an adapter. So when you take your data, take this out, you push this in here, and then you put this in your computer, so you can um, download the data to your computer. Um, in the data in the uh, system that. I um, built for the accelerometer. I put it inside a case. Here's a brand new version of that. It's just a box. Uh, I don't know, ten bucks, eight bucks, five bucks, from Hammond Manufacturing. I got it at URS. Uh, I mounted the Ada logger on a 3D printed frame uh, that uh, allowed me to put that frame into a board at the base of this case. So this case. Uh, has some mounting holes inside it. Uh, I took a little laser cut piece of plywood, put that in the bottom of the case, and then I mounted this. Um, I made these um, this, this sort of strange shape because in the Ada logger system that is in the accelerometer, I used um, screw terminals here that were soldered on and it allowed me to um, fill around with wiring. I didn't wasn't quite sure what I was how I was going to wire it. So this is a different system. This has got um, these little headers soldered on because I've attached it to a uh, an alternative system. Here I'll we'll show you in just a second. So let me let me put this system together. Um, the eight of uh, the, the SD card is something I pop in and out while well not while it's running so much because that interrupts it, but um, during uh, normal data collection. I have a, uh, a homebrew system here uh, that I'll show you in just a second. But the, the point is, this um, there's a, a proto board that plugs onto the Ada, Ada logger here. The uh, proto board has some uh, LEDs on long lead wires. It has a, um, uh, a set of wires that go to a button, and it has a set of long, somewhat stiff leads going to, uh, I've got here four uh, analog temperature sensors. These are uh, LM34Cs. Uh, they're, they're not used that much anymore. You, you can still buy them, but uh, they're not advertised on a lot of sites. They're basically um, a thermistor, um, and I had a bunch of these lying around. I had a little project that I wanted to use this on, and so what you're seeing here is the um, variation on this Ada logger system for that temperature measurement. Um, but the basic pieces are the same. So in the accelerometer, uh, there is not a proto board like this, but instead a um, it has a screw terminals and the uh, it has these LEDs. This is actually a green LED and this is a yellow LED and it has this push button. The push button allows me to interrupt uh, what's happening. Basically, it's the, us the user interface of this entire system as uh, conf currently configured. The user interface consists of a button and two LEDs. So I want to show you how those work, but first I need to put this system 
uh, back together. So let me do that. In this particular case, I simply put the board onto here. The, the screw terminals, the, um, the, um, whoops, put it in backwards. Screw terminals are um, on the bottom. Uh, I should add, there's a tiny little reset button here, and you're going to need, potentially need, to push that button during operation when the, um, when the data logger gets interrupted for removing uh, the SD card, it will, it will, um, it will current, the current software, it will hang. So you might need to get in and push the reset button. Okay, let me show you how this works. I'm going to power this from the USB just because the LiPo battery is, um, works fine, but it, the LiPo battery works fine, but it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. So I have the SD card in. It won't work without having that in ahead of time. And I'm going to plug this in, and it will start a sequence of flashing buttons here. So let me just focus on this. So it's yellow and flashing green, followed by yellow. So now it's waiting for the uh, SD card to go. Whoops. This indicates an error. So quick flashing of the yellow indicates some error in the SD card. Oh. If you see here, the SD card uh, popped out. So I'm going to push it back in. And the software is dumb. It doesn't know that. So I've got to... Software is dumb. So I've got to reach in here and click the little reset button. There we go. So now we've got a normal startup operation. A slow blinking green followed by yellow. Then the yellow will blink saying, oh, we're about to start logging data. And the, the green says, yes, we're really going to start logging data now. The, we're going to come back to this uh, flashing green in a second. So now that it's on, just solid green, that means it's data. It's collecting data. So solid green means data collection. And this will go on indefinitely, um, not quite indefinitely. Um, the SD card is 16 gigabytes that I have here. So it can take a lot, a lot of days and days and days and days of data. Um, and the other part of indefinitely is we can interrupt it with this button. So this is the key user interface action. So your box has a button on, I'm going to push the button and then the system will temporarily go into yellow blinking and then green blinking. Now, if I hit the button during green blinking, whoops, It's resetting. If I hit the button during green blinking, I go into standby mode. So in the accelerometer, this is all closed up. You can't do anything about it. You just have to wait for the data to be collected. But suppose you're, something uninteresting is happening and you don't want to be collecting a lot of data. You can push the button while the, bl the green is blinking not like this, but while only green is blinking, and then you go into standby mode. So standby mode is green and yellow blinking in synchronous. I'm gonna push this button, and now it goes back through a little restart. It's, it's reinitializing a new data file in the SD card, and now it says, get ready, because we're gonna start collecting data or interrupt me. Now it's steady green again. So I'm going to go through this cycle one more time. So uh, uh, let me back up. The green on means data is being collected. There's an interval and channels, et cetera, et cetera. You, you, it's all programmable. But the sequence is that it's normal. Now, this is just normal data collection. Read data, write it to the SD card. Read data, write it to the SD card. To interrupt that, I push the button. And now that card that's closed, a new file is being opened when it's flashing yellow. Now's the time we can interrupt the process to go into standby mode. We didn't, so now it's back to regular data collection. One more time, interrupt the data collection. Let's say I'm tired of this data set. It's opening a new data file and is saying, well, do you want us to, whoops, something's wrong with my buttons here. 
Now, during the, the green flashing, I can push the button and say, don't start reading data. Don't start reading data. Just wait until something interesting happens as determined by the humans. And when the humans say something's interesting is about to happen, we push this button again. And so it will go through a sequence, open up a new data file, get ready because we're going to really do it this time, about to enter data logging. Now we're data logging again. So that's it. If for some reason you interrupt this by pushing the SD card out, which wouldn't happen in the accelerometer because the accelerometer case is usually closed. It doesn't have to be, but it, that's the normal way. If you were to interrupt this by pushing the SD card out, it's still going to just keep trying to read, I guess. So something's wrong here. It's, it's just trying to read and write to the SD card. It's going to cause an error. If I were to interrupt this process now and say, oh, let me, let me um, get a new SD card. Maybe I want to download this data and look at it. This says uh, there's an error at trying to read the SD card. And the only way to recover from this error, first of all, is to put the SD card back in. That doesn't fix the problem. Neither right now, neither does pushing the reset button. That doesn't help the uh, external reset button. So then you have to get in and push the internal onboard reset button. So now we're going through, we're starting the whole program over again. And this is a wait for the system. Uh, it's, it's actually a wait for the serial. It says we're about to load a new SD card file. We're really going to get ready to log data. And now we'll be in a little blink or two, really logging data again. That's it.